These are all the resources you'll need to be able to dig out a chunk in a few seconds in your survival world. Probably less because you don't actually need all of these, but it would be faster. You can use it to get resources early game that will last you well into the late game and then use those resources to scale this up to build something like a perimeter, chunk miner or general world eater. After looking into current create miners, I found that the chunk miner by dark mode was way too expensive for early game because of all the drills and wasn't useful for digging really big holes due to its speed and the fact you need to move it by hand. This design by Triobrian was great fun, but really slow. It's expandable and much more precise with its controls, but it has many post brass parts and isn't as effective for this purpose. Uh, but both are great designs and I've linked them in the description because they may be more fit to whatever your purpose is. Um, a lot of other miners I saw use things like computer craft and other mods, so I haven't included them here. Um, I started working my own this week based around the create mechanic that swaps minecart contraptions between entity and block states. This is sometimes used to make cobblestone farms, but can be much more powerful when used like this. When the states are swapped, all mineable blocks are popped off and collectible, and all liquids are also removed, meaning they can clear oceans and make huge holes without the need for sponges and sand to clear up underground lakes. Um, by very quickly swapping between block and entity states and moving the minecart forward with create controller rails, we're able to build a worm that crawls instantly removing all blocks in their path. Uh, and by attaching lots of blocks to the worm, we can increase the amount of blocks it can break. The default create config lets you attach 2048 blocks to a single contraption, which means it can mine over 2000 blocks for every block it moves forwards. You can update your config to increase this, but it will cause a lot more lag. Building anything at max size or even close to will result in huge amounts of client lag that usually results in the miner slowing down. So it's now running at maybe half, quarter speed, and it's just going to keep getting slower the more entities are dropping. Um, this is roughly the maximum kind of size you could be making these, but you could stack them and run multiple in parallel uh, as long as you can deal with the items. Um, the best way to do it is usually with lava, just sort of running around and deleting all of them. You might want to pick up because it does destroy the rails behind it. If you have the backpack mod, running around with a backpack that has magnet and void upgrades can be really good for picking up the items and clearing the lag as it goes. And yes, you can design these things to be 100% automated and just go on forever and clean up after themselves. As far as actually building these things go, I will go over a quick tutorial here. Row of controller rails, row of cart assemblers, one, two, redstone block, glue that, and we're done. Obviously you'll want to make your chain quite a bit longer or build the endless one with deploys and funnels, um, as well as attaching blocks to it. Now, a lot of the time you might be thinking you need to place down all the blocks, glue it to it. The best way of doing it is just to glue the world to the machine. Um, we already have loads of blocks here, so just put it in a place that comes with the blocks. And that's what I did in my survival world as well. I just put it in a place that had blocks uh, and I glued it to the ground. And then that was a simple way without having to build all of it by hand. I've turned off tile breaking here so that it doesn't actually break the blocks uh, to reduce the lag in the demonstration. But normally this would be a lot of sandstone. Once they're finished mining out an area, you can literally just wander over here. You can see, shove it around a bit. But uh, uh, yeah, you can just pick it up with a wrench, take it to where you need it next. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me on Discord or leave a comment down below. I'll be making a more in-depth video soon on the much larger examples, the sort of things for using perimeters or giant holes for farms, uh, or you're just getting tons of resources. So feel free to stick around for that. If you want to see me build some of this stuff live, I stream it all on Twitch on my Hardcore Worlds. So go check that out as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.